How to print from your Chromebook without using Google Cloud Print. I'm Huey Poplock. This is from an article by Michael Perigo at Chrome Unboxed, and there is a link to the actual article. With Google Cloud Print going away in just a few weeks on December 31st, 2020, many of you have seen the notice plastered at the top of your Chromebook's print dialog and have reached out to ask what your options are going forward into the new year. Google Cloud Print, or GCP, was created during a time when Google needed to act as an intermediary for Chromebook users' print jobs because many print manufacturers, printer manufacturers, did not create drivers for Chrome OS due to its lack of widespread usage. Since that has changed so drastically in the past few years, GCP is no longer necessary, even though it will be missed. And most printers work with Chromebooks out of the box with minimal setup. Here's what happens. You go from your computer or your Chromebook or your Android device, go to Google Cloud Print and then to the printer. Well, that's not going to be necessary anymore. In fact, it's going to be impossible after the December 31st. So also with many printers, you can simply buy a USB-A to B cable from your local Best Buy or computer store. Just ask for a printer cable and plug it in to print. That's what the cable looks like. You may even have one lying around your house. This by, is by far the easiest method for printing on your Chromebook. Though the drawback is that your laptop will need to remain tethered to the printer during the process. The second easiest method connecting your Chromebook to a wireless printer using your home network, and the CUPS method. For most Chromebook users, standard wireless printing with CUPS should be a viable replacement for the Google Cloud Print. CUPS, or Common Unix Print Service, allows you to print one or two sided pages in black and white or color, set up advanced printing attributes like stapling, paper trays, and even pin code printing management. Basically, it's what you've likely always used before, GCP, without even realizing it. I will recommend Google's excellent step-by-step -step visual simulator by PartnerDash and here is the link. I'll give you a second to take a look at it. In order to get printing on your Chromebook, you'll need to visit the printers section of the settings app. To get there, all you need to do is tap on your everything button or the search button on your Chromebook keyboard and search for it. Next, and this is very important, let's remove your GCP printer from the list of available printers on your device. You may need to remove it from Google Cloud Print web interface, but removing it locally should suffice for now. Since you no longer need it, nor can use it soon, it reduces confusion later if we just remove it now. If you want to wait until it stops working to make sure that you have to go through this, you can do that as well. Once you're in the Settings app on your Chromebook, click in the search bar at the top and type in Printing to get there. If you see your existing printer listed, tap the three dots next to it and then tap Remove. Let's take a look. Settings, Printing, then the three dots, and then Remove the GCP printer if applicable. So here is my screen. I click on the start button or the uh, search button. And then on this, I get this coming up and then I type in print at the top in the search. And you'll see printing is down below with the gear. If 
I click on that and it opens up the settings and takes me to the printers. And my saved printers is strictly my brother printer. And those are the three dots on the right. If I click on that with my mouse, it'll say edit or remove. And what it's saying that I may have to remove it and then reinstall it. All right, so let's connect your printer over the Wi-Fi instead. Since you're already in the printer settings, tap the little icon to the right of Add Printer. And let's go back there. Notice at the bottom it says Add Printer. A dialog box will pop up called Add Nearby Printer. So long as your printer and your Chromebook are connected to the same network, it should appear on this list. Settings, Printing, Printer Icon, Select Printers from the List. And then you look at the list. If it's not showing, make sure that both the devices are on the same Wi-Fi and try again. If this worked, congratulations. Your printer has been successfully connected to your Chromebook. If you continue to have issues, you're going to connect it using your IP address instead. Your printer's IP address is a unique identifier that allows your Chromebook to communicate with it. To get your printer's IP address, just go to the tiny screen on the front of your printer, tap the cogwheel icon to scroll down to Network or Wireless, and then find View Wireless Details or something similar. I'm generalizing because each company buries the address under different verbiage. You can check with HP, Epson, Brother, Canon, or any other manufacturer for step-by-step -step instructions via a Google search. Once you locate the IP address, it can be printed out or you can scribble it down on a piece of paper, or just memorize it, and head back over to your Chromebook. Okay, let's get back on track. So you've tapped on the printer icon and are now presented with a dialog box that is titled Add Printer Manually. Fill out all of the required fields giving your printer a name. Enter the IP address you just found. It's usually 192.168.something.something .something, where the X's represent numbers unique to your printer. And then click the blue Add button at the bottom right. You can leave the protocol box and the queue as they are. On the next screen, choose the brand and model of your printer. If your model isn't listed, just find something close to it as you can. This, is deter this just determines whether or not you get some settings unique to your printer in the print preview window later on. Now, click the blue Add button at the bottom right again, and you've successfully added your printer. If you're printing wirelessly for the first time on your Chromebook, you'll probably find that clicking Control plus the letter P on a document and choosing the blue Save button at the bottom right of the print preview does not send it to your printer. This is very important, and I found many people who continue to have issues do so because they've forgotten to change their print destination. To fix this, just choose the first drop-down labeled destination and change it from save as PDF to your printer name. You may need to click see more and then choose your printer from additional dialog box that appears. It's going to look like something like this. Notice on the right, by default, it changed when you have no printer to save as PDF. You need to then see more. And when you do, you'll see that it may say something like my, whatever you labeled your printer, it's going to see it. And then you click that and you want to save that as your destination. If you followed all of the steps above, you should have a printed document coming out of your printer as you read this. Congratulations. Happy printing! I'm Huey Poplock.